Today we're doing module 6 quadratic functions FIF 8 and ASSE 3 level 4 reteach. Write the following equations in parabola in vertex form, then translate it to standard form. So we're going to do vertex form. When I do vertex form, the first thing I do is I look for the vertex, and in this case, my vertex is 3 and 4. And then I'm going to look to see what my slope is. And I went down 1, so A equals 1. So then I'm just going to plug it into my equation. But I also know it's a negative 1 because I'm going downward, so it's going to be negative 1. And then remember, it's always opposite. So if it's positive 3, it's really going to be a minus 3. And then I do squared, and then I'm going to put plus 4. So there's my vertex form. Now, to get it translated into um, standard form, I know it's negative 1. It's x minus 3 once, x minus 3 twice, plus 4. Then I just use FOIL, and I do x um, squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 parentheses plus 4. Then I do y equals, and I'm just going to make it a negative now, so it's x squared minus 6x plus 9. I don't really need to write the 1. And then I'm going to distribute that negative. And then I'm going to finally add the 4 to it. And I am done. Awesome. Taking a look at this. Again, I find my vertex. My vertex for this particular one is 2, comma, 1. And then I notice that I went up by 2, so A equals 2. I notice that it is positive, so I'm just going to make it a positive 2. X minus, remember, it's going to be a minus because it's always the opposite. And then I'm just going to put a plus 1. So when I solve this one, I do y equals 2, and I do x minus 2, x minus 2. I usually like to write it all out. Then I usually like to then just FOIL. And then after I FOIL, I like to combine like terms. And I need to distribute the 2. And then I finally combine like terms again. And now I have it in standard form. Complete the equation by the following graph. All I'm looking for is to finding my x-intercepts. So this would be a minus 6 and a minus 2. Thanks for listening and have a great day.